What's up guys, Eterno here and today I'm gonna show you how to play Senna. So we want to start with this Q first and let's get to her skill explanation. So on passive Senna can attack souls that spawn from dead enemies to absorb their mist. She can also siphon mist from enemy champions she hits twice, dealing 1% of their current health as bonus physical damage with 4 second cooldown per target. Each stack of mist grants 1 attack damage and every 20 stacks of mist grant 25 attack range and 15% critical strike chance. 35% of excess critical strike chance is converted into lifesteal. Then her second passive and other attacks take extra time to fire, but deals bonus physical damage on hit and briefly grant her 10% of the target's movement speed. So you want to queue like this to provide the healing and damage the camp at the same time. And that was your Q, so on Q you shoot a bolt of piercing shadow through an ally or enemy, enemies hit take physical damage and allied champions are healed. You want to harass a lot during the laning phase. The Healing part scales with ability power and attack damage. You can collect mist with your Q as well, try to damage your enemy at the same time. Your Q range is extended when you target something. And with each basic attack you reduce the cooldown of your Q by one second. As for W, this is it. This is a uh, root. The root duration scales with rank of this ability. It deals physical damage and stops on the first enemy hit. So it actually stops on minions, that's why you want to get rid of them first or cast W right after killing minion to surprise your enemy. You see, you can kill the turret as well, so I just damaged the turret and provided healing for my ADC. Your Q can also target wards, so you can use wards actually to extend the range. This is your E. It grants camouflage and 20% movement speed also for the ally or multiple allies inside. Since it's camouflage, it's not that great for escaping. I healed in case. Heal max. I clean. And let's queue like this. You can help your ADC in pushing the wave faster, which is huge. I really like the Sana playstyle. Also queue on Goat. So yeah, Sana dissolves into a cloud of mist for 6 seconds, becoming a raid. Allied champions who enter the mist are camouflaged and become raids when they leave. Raids gain 20% movement speed, they are unselectable and hide their identities as long as no enemy champions are nearby. Okay, your first item, this one. You can E like this for movement speed. And as for your W, the route applies after a 1 second delay and the target 
and other nearby enemies are rooted as well. So the circle range around the main target shows you that if others are inside then they will get rooted as well. I would like to pressure them a bit more. Like this, yeah. Though I took a lot of damage. But I have my Q, so I'd be fine. And I can basic attack to reduce the cooldown, so every second matters. And it can make a difference, keep that in mind. If only I had the range and I didn't have the right angle to damage anyway. And you see, like this, I extend the range and damage as we will. Okay, he's there. So again. That's a bait, chances are that Echo is coming bot. Oh. Oh. He goes into that. I know that is the clone. I'm just reducing the cooldown. She got damage and casting ultimate now wouldn't be enough to kill her. You can keep your W to disengage, for example if I could gank now I will just W and that's it. That's the way to protect your ally and yourself. Usually you want these boots and let's go. As for the ultimate Sana fires a blast of light with global range, meaning that you can ult anywhere on the map from this spot. Any spot, basically. Enemy champions hit, take physical damage, and allied champions hit in a wider area, receive a shield for 3 seconds. That absorb damage and the damage absorbed is based on the amount of miss stacks you have and ability power. I'm not using W on the Drake, so in case I can just do the root. So this time it was Nico. The shield power scales with the amount of mist Sana collected. not that. thing with your E is that your enemy really can't tell how many enemies are inside the mist so you can really surprise and make plays especially later. Jolly is better as an aggressive way to play rather than defensive 
since it's camouflage and not invisibility effect. There's Echo, so we got to keep that in mind. Really? I thought that the virus would do something. Oh, yeah, as expected, just cooldowns. And yeah, Senna seems to be really good with something that has crowd control effects. So Varus and Jin have a pretty solid synergy. Now here I need to be really careful. Yeah, need some time. That was really close. I like the fact that you can do so much on your own as Senna and you have this scaling like you can see the effects additional stats granted from mist so for now I have increased range some crit and attack damage really nice scaling So as for the ult, the smaller range shows you the damage indicator and all the rest is the range of the shield, so it's easy to provide shield. Just keep in mind that the channeling takes some time. Well here I have no range. Oh, got you. <laughs> and with the shield, I should be fine. I risked a lot, like. So nice, squishy after all. I got too close. You got to respect the damage. And the fact that you like escapes, so positioning is really important. I think he got damage, yeah, but sadly it wasn't enough. So that was an example. You can use your trinket to finish someone off. This ult attack took three stacks.
Let's do that. And yeah, things like Drake, Grant, additional mistakes. And in team fights, you want to focus more on providing the healing. And you can keep your W or try to make a nice engage. Try to catch someone off. W seconds to max to increase the root duration. Let's see. Okay, this is going to be 40% CDR build and this item really helps for the peeling. Link was really good there. I couldn't reach ADC to provide Q some oh, instant. <laughs> right into that. So low cooldown, I keep reducing the cooldown and my team is almost at full HP. And she flashed that. And that's it, they surrendered. So thank you guys for watching, hope that you enjoyed. Leave a like, subscribe and see you next time.